Kareen, with regards to the Niagara trial, which is now the standard of care, uh, what we've seen is this improvement in event-free survival and overall survival. <coughs> How is that conversation with the patients now, given the impressive data? That's a great question. I mean, I think we were having that discussion about the benefit of neoadjuvant chemotherapy before. So now we have even stronger evidence to have that discussion to say, hey, we can give you these 12 weeks of therapy before your big surgery, and we know that that will prolong your life based on the results of this groundbreaking study. Um, we also know that in the study, in order to have that survival benefit, all of the patients, most of the patients receive that portion in the adjuvant setting too of continued immunotherapy. We know that the side effects in terms of long-term serious side effects from this therapy are very low. I think there were very few grade three, four, I, immune related adverse events. You know, the most common side effects were things like thyroid issues, rash, dermatitis. There was quite a low rate of other serious immune related adverse events like myocarditis, hepatitis, other things like that. So I think that, you know, as far as patients wanting that survival benefit, that is the selling point in terms of counseling patients. But I think it's still important to talk about the toxicities because although very rare, they can be long-term and serious and require lifelong medications.